The state machine is what allows us to add interactivity to RAV files. To access the state machine, we'll need to be in animate mode. We can do that by hitting this toggle up here or by pressing the tab key. When we get to animate mode, you can see that our state machine graph is down here where the timeline would normally be. If you look at the animations list on the left side, you'll see that by default, we have state machine one, and we also have timeline one, which is just below it. Now this timeline is already um, added to our state machine, which you can see out on the graph. Now, if we hit the play button to activate our state machine, you'll see that the first animation that's connected to the entry state will start playing. If we go into timeline one, you can see that we have a few keys here that move the red square from the left side to the other. Now, if we go back to the state machine and we hit play again, you'll see that once again, this animation is playing. You'll see that the animation is represented by this blue node here. And you can also see that it's being filled. Now this is a progression meter showing us how much of the animation is being played. In addition to timeline one being on the graph, you'll notice that there's three other states. The first one is this green one called entry. The blue state is the any state and the exit state is in red. We'll focus on these two states in another video. Let's start by focusing on the entry state. The purpose of the entry state is to tell our state machine which state it should start in. We can tell our state machine which state to start in by connecting our other states with one of these little lines here with the arrow. In this case, we only have one line. And when we hit the play button, we'll go from the entry state It'll follow the line into timeline one. Let's talk about working with states on the state machine. Now we can move these states around by clicking on them and dragging them around the graph. You'll notice that as we drag them around, the little red lines for the snapping pop up and we can use that to align our nodes. Now we can also turn snapping off, which will disable this and we'll be able to move those nodes around freely. Now we can delete all the non-default states by selecting them and hitting the delete key. We can undo this by either using command Z or control Z on windows. We can pan the graph view around by holding down spacebar, and you'll notice that the cursor changes to a hand and then we can click to drag our graph view around. Additionally, we can right click and move the graph as well. Just like on the stage, we can zoom in and out with the plus button to zoom in and the minus button to zoom out. Now let's say for example that our graph view is a little too far away. We can center it by using the F key. Now that we have a bit of knowledge about where the state machine is, how to move the panel around, in the following videos we'll start learning how to create interactions.